This question deals with the interest and principal breakdown of a particular mortgage payment. Okay? And so in order to solve this problem, we've got a few steps involved. So first, we need to compute the payment. Second, we need to find the principal balance. A print bow principal balance from prior period. And so here that would be in time 38. We want to go back to 38. And then after that, we can find the interest amount of the payment by simply multiplying. So, so the interest in a payment equals the prior print balance, we're going to multiply that by the periodic interest rate. I'm not going to go through all of these calculations uh, because I've got other videos that, 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 that do these. Um, so if you'll follow those instructions, uh, you can get to a payment here of $750 and uh, 0.1913. So that's the payment amount for this loan. So that's step one, we're done. Second, we need to find the principal balance from the prior period. So since we're concerned about the breakdown for payment number 39, we wanna find the principal balance after payment 38. I've also got a video that walks you through those steps and so you can refer to that if you wanna see step-by-step uh, -step instructions. But that principal balance is the following, step two. Step three then says that the interest component of that payment is just this number, so that's the prior principal balance, multiplied by the periodic rate of interest. And so here we have 151,000 310.4103, and we're gonna multiply that by the periodic interest rate, and so that is 0 0.038 divided by 12, the monthly rate. So multiply through there, and we'll see that we have an interest component of $479.1496. So there's the answer. Right, there's the answer. So that's the interest component, okay? Now, other problems will ask you to go on and calculate the principal component. What's the principal component of any given payment? Well, that is the total payment minus the interest. component. And so we could find the principal component here by taking the total payment of 750.1913, subtracting the interest component that we just calculated, so minus 479.1496, and that equals 271. 417. And so that is the principal component.